Did you know if you drop a like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, nothing will happen but it will put a giant smile on my face. Believe it or not, in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1, we're nearly 75% or three quarters way through the season. Despite this happening and with us yet to see the 19.40 update being the last of this season before version 20 being Chapter 3 Season 2 in itself, just to put in perspective how much time flies in the world of Fortnite or real life anyways, it's two years today since the release of Chapter 2 Season 2. And with that said, considering we have more live event developments and ultimately know what's going to be happening for the event and the characters involved, let's just say we not only know what the cinematic trailer for Chapter 3 Season 2 will be be looking like, but as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, the Chapter 3 Season 2 Battle Pass trailer, including new characters that perhaps you guys have never seen which we're going to be revealing. And without spoiling too much, considering each season has an underlying theme, let's just say, yeah, people have been able to pretty much determine for definite what this is going to be for this next one. I already know that sounds good to literally 99.9% .9 of all eyes on screen right now, so do yourself a favour to get all of this news, leaks and intel regarding this next season, sit back, relax with your favourite snacks, stick around and watch the full video, and whilst you're doing that, one favour you can do for for me considering this is 100% free to do is enter code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop. By entering code FM1 you're not only going to be putting a giant smile on my face but also potentially cheering up my pug Gus after discovering and being kind of sad about the fact he looks like a baby clumber. He also knows that 70% of you watching right now aren't subscribed and speaking of subscribing we're getting incredibly close to 2.4 million subscribers so if everybody hits the big red button right now we'd be there in no time and of course don't forget this benefits you too as I give different subscribers every single day here on this channel, which of course in the near future will be tons of the Chapter 3 Season 2 Battle Pass, but if you want to receive a gift now or in the future, make sure you subscribe into the channel with all notifications turned on and then comment your Epic Games ID down below and let me know what you'd like to receive so perhaps in the very next video you could be gifted in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see. But with that said, now enough messing around, we need to dive into everything about Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2, most specifically the Battle Pass, and there's a lot to cover, so make sure of course you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere! I'm not, I'm sitting on my don't back. go anywhere! Okay, so the very first thing you guys need to know about Chapter 3 Season 2 is it starts, as you can see on the Battle Pass, on March 19th when this season ends, obviously after downtime lifting, when it does. With this being the case, considering February's a short month, we literally just have under a month now until March 19th when this rolls around, and as you can see for this reason, Fire Monkey stated on screen or found out about this in the 19.20 update being the most recent version. Based off what he included in the tweet, considering it goes straight from 19.40 to version 20.00, 19.40 should be the final update of this season, and this has further been confirmed firm now as we've seen 19.30 since that initial tweet as it was tweeted out in 19.20. As you can see Fire Monkey then tweeted out a few days later or on the update 19.30 in itself. The final update of Chapter 3 Season 1 currently has 186 builds and is expected to release March 1st. Some challenge content we might see in that update is Horde Rush, LTM returning and also the unvaulted LTM challenges, Mobility Chicken and Bargain Bin Wild Weeks. Of course the last update he's referencing to in Chapter 3 Season 1 being version 19.40. It does make sense entirely to release March 1st 2022 as we're in that sweet spot now of where it's kind of in the midpoint between February what we're in currently and then March 19th when obviously 20.00 actually drops being well chapter 3 season 2 or the 20th season believe it or not of Fortnite overall considering chapter 2 only had 8 seasons. And based off not only all of this information alone that Epic Games are ahead of the game or planning to release the update on time for chapter 3 season 2 in itself meaning this season won't be extended, Dan to mind is when 19.30 dropped managed to determine from the game's coding that Epic Games have already started working on version 20.00, meaning they're going to have a full month to get everything right on the testing and then the staging servers for its release. And speaking of Fire Monkey, before we move on, I just wanted to mention that we're currently running a huge Twitter giveaway for a very rare exclusive skin, as you can see from the tweet on screen right now, which will be linked in the video description down below or in the pinned comments, where you can simply go over to Twitter and if you don't have an account, make one and enter for literally 100% free. It's an insane prize considering the codes for these are rare now and this cost me $150 to obtain. Speaking of Twitter 2 and as we approach the madness of March with Chapter 3 Season 2 releasing in this month, of course, this is the very first place where either the March Crew Pack trailer will get leaked showcasing the skin for the first time that we can get for being subscribed that month or Fortnite Games Twitter will come out with an article showcasing everything that subscribers will receive. I just want to mention quickly before it is revealed, however, there's two particular skins in mention that people speculate it could be. The first being a Nightcat skin which 
will look like this anyways that Sheena tweeted out about twice over on Twitter. And then the other potential March crew pack skin being one that could be more fitting to the storyline theme or just overall theme of Chapter 3 Season 2. This of course as you can see on screen right now from the selectable styles added for this skin as we currently can't obtain it in game and the only way we can play as him is literally by using Mystique and her built-in emote once eliminating the boss Gunner at Covert Cavern. In case you've been living under a rock the reason this is fitting to the Chapter 3 Season 2 theme overall is because since Chapter 3 started of course the Ayo and the Seven have been distantly opposing each other trying to overthrow the opposing faction with the Ayo setting up drill sites and then taking base or residence at Covert Cavern and of course we can tell by the scientists voice recordings in the season quest anyways that yeah they're trying to accomplish something but the Ayo are destroying their rockets upon launch. Also fun fact considering Chapter 2 Season 2 is now 2 years old, believe it or not when Epic Games make new seasons within a new chapter they try and replicate said season to what it was in the prior chapter. A good example of this was what went down in Chapter 1 Season 4 being superheroes versus supervillains or just a superhero based theme which obviously then was made literal anyways in Chapter 2 Season 4 including superheroes and supervillains from the Marvel Universe. The reason this context is valuable to portray the theme of Chapter 3 Season 2 anyways and how this is going to work is because from taking a look at Chapter 2 Season 2, again that's two years old now, we had a war wage between Ghost and Shadow being two factions, and what are we seeing now currently on the Chapter 3 island? The Imagined Order versus the Seven, which is going to be more of a forefront obviously then, having Battle Pass skins and cosmetics based around this, which we actually may know what they are right now. Just before we reveal those potential skins however and how it makes sense for them to be integrated the next season, or how it points toward this happening based off the Imagined Order versus the Seven, fingers crossed when the new Battle Pass does release for Chapter 3 Season 2, we can get the old, or should I say first introduced Battle Pass scene anyways or menu from Chapter 2 Season 2. Despite this just being a menu, it was one of my favourite things about Chapter 2 Season 2 in itself, and let me know what your favourite thing from this season was down below in the comments, considering I believe it to be the best season of Chapter 2 as a whole. From taking a look also back at prior battle passes, it's safe to say we usually, mainly always anyways, receive around 8 outfits, and because we've already established the theme of the next season being greatly more so growing toward, yeah, this conflict between the Imagined Order and the Seven, which also could be established in the live event if one is going to happen this season, which we're going to be mentioning more about in just a second. So with that said, as for the first skin that could be included throughout this new battle pass, if Gunner isn't released as the March crew pack or throughout the item shop, yes, it definitely could be Gunner as one of them. We don't know his ranking currently in the Imagined Order, but it's safe to say it's pretty high up, perhaps the second man down from Dr. Sloan, as he's literally responsible for trying to electrocute John Jones in this jumpsuit form in the end event cinematic. And speaking of John Jones in this jumpsuit form, considering this is literally how many versions of John Jones we've seen in different skins anyways, whether in the item shop or throughout a battle pass, it's more than safe to say we're going to be seeing this skin at some point and it being within a battle pass itself as it has storyline ties potentially being the second skin. The two other skins belonging to the Imagined Order however could simply be Io Guards. As you guys know we never saw the Io Guard originally implemented in Chapter 2 Season 5 as a skin throughout the item shop and is currently still in the files. And then what's been implemented as of this season, Chapter 3 Season 1, are the new Convoy Io Guards that sweep the map anyways and get out if you approach them. In terms of our 5th, 6th and 7th skin however this is where things get more interesting as we break down the storyline or potentially what's going to be involved in the live event or next trailer too. Of course now considering we have 4 members of the 7 reveal being the Visitor, the Scientist, the Paradigm and also the Foundation that's unlockable in Chapter 3 Season 1 for the first time, Manning as a mythic boss of the Sanctuary named Location. Speaking of the Sanctuary within itself despite us not knowing the identity of the final 3 remaining members of the 7 until what seems like now anyways, from clever data miners and leakers digging into the code in regarding these statues what seem to be having markings resembling well each member of the seven or correlating to them as their seven statues total in a kind of stone hedge based manner. Believe it or not the coding has revealed not only the names of our prior seven members so we know it's definitely correlating to all of them but new ones being as you can see the origin and then sister one and sister two being perhaps the sisters that the foundation obviously wants to find the location of as we know from the chapter two season six cinematic trailer. With their names already being in the game's coding it's safe to say they could be up coming soon and for that reason be in the chapter 3 season 2 battle pass and believe it or not we may have an early look of what they could look like thanks to these surveys that Fortnite have been releasing in regards to well concept skins that could be upcoming in game and many already have been implemented into the game off of. There's one particular character right here with a mask on and mask off style that literally screams he's a member of the seven but also then next to him there's two female skins which look identical which could be the sisters considering the matching resemblance and more interestingly from taking a closer look at the origin as you can see there's so many similarities that people on Twitter have managed to draw now between not only him but the Cube Queen also. Who knows, despite the Foundation being the leader of the Seven, maybe
maybe the origin with his name literally being, well, the origin itself as if he originated the faction, actually created it in the first place. It's definitely an interesting possibility alongside the possibilities what could be endless with this new location that's going to be added being the Seven Workshop, which many people speculate to be inside this locked bunker currently at the Mighty Monument, which for those that don't know or haven't seen the use of this funny glitch with the Chonkers tyres could be moved literally by throwing them at its feet, but now it's sadly patched. But with that covering seven out of the eight skins that we typically see, of course, then the next one could be, well, a mystery, a collaboration, and the possibilities for this are endless considering Epic Games just signed something with Paramount as of recently or gained the rights to use their stuff in-game. And despite each new season before it releases being very interesting to discuss whether it's leaks, inside information, or just generally speculation, the second most interesting thing, or perhaps more interesting than that in people's opinions, is how we get there being, well, a live event that happens that then triggers or sets up the events to happen in the next cinematic trailer. In this particular season, for those that don't know, it's speculated we're going to be seeing a final showdown v2 with the return of Paradigm, which is kind of confirmed right now to be another snapshot form of the Singularity who manned the mecha robot that defeated the original Devourer monster in Chapter 1 Season 9. And on the flip side of that, no pun intended, we have a landmark revealed by the imagined Order's drill or digging sites to be, well, the remains of the original Devourer. As we can tell from the hole in its skull, it was skewered through the head with this giant sword. And speaking of this particular landmark, the more interesting thing about it is the fact we're going to be getting a giant cave system based off of it or directly underneath it, where there seems to be distant roars from another monster of its species or kind, implying, yes, a return of the Devourer monster. Could the Seven already know about this and the fact that the Io are trying to drill to reach this Catus cave in itself as it's mentioned in the coding? And because of that, from listening to the voice recordings that the scientist has left us from doing the season quest, is this why Paradigm is desired so much by him to return to then perhaps even construct a Mecha Robot V2, maybe even inside the Mighty Monument statue? Well, to find out more information on that, of course, don't forget to leave a like in today's video, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on, as when 19.40 drops on the 1st of March, you guys are going to get the intel as soon as it is leaked or revealed. Speaking of other videos or your next destination now, however, make sure to interact with anything on screen, but most importantly, hopefully I can catch you, yes, you, the individual still watching, I can see you, but hopefully in the very next video, I do post on the channel.